Ciao guys and welcome to another video with Lempis. If you have been following this channel for a while, you know that I'm expecting now in the 10th month, just waiting every single day for contraction and labor to start and then soon we're going to have a baby at home. And yeah, I have done a couple of uh, pregnancy related video like uh, second trimester update, first trimester update. I was wondering if I should do a third trimester update. I have to evaluate that in the maybe next week or so. But yeah, today is about top items that are essential, modern, and highly marketed. I see them pretty much everywhere on uh, influencer channels and stuff, other YouTubers, and that I just think for me. I'm not going to use that, or maybe I don't need it, or maybe I don't think it's necessary. So maybe there are some people here who have used the items that I'm going to talk about and think they're useful or absolutely not useful. Leave that in the comment section below. Number one, this, I'm sure you have seen this everywhere. Everywhere is this Snoo Smart Sleep. Very minimalist, very cute. It has also um, like an overall attached to the to the base of the bassinet so the baby can shake you should be able to automatically switch on the shaking mode as soon as the baby start crying and put the baby back to sleep now i would say the first trimester this was the first item on my mind i'm going to get it i'm definitely going to spend money to make sure that i have something a bassinet that is helping me to make sure during the night the baby can sleep comfortably and be able to soothe the baby to go back to sleep on by herself. This item comes at a price of a thousand and three hundred euros. Let me let me do the numbers to see how much is that in Namibian dollars. Wow, this is ex this is about twenty three thousand Namibian dollars. Look at this. This is a lot. Based on how much it cost and the reviews. I just, at some point when I was towards the end of my second trimester and really thinking about things that are important, I said, I'm not buying this. There are so many other bassinets on the market that are really nice and maybe normally priced. I'll leave the video up here when I did the baby room preparation. I got one that cost about 150. It was second hand, but on if when it's new it also only costs about 200 something so that's still already <laughs> a reduced price in comparison to an item that costs 1300 so i opted for something cheaper it's second item perennial bottle and i thought i needed it the thing it's, it's a simple plastic bottle i think it's about 500 ml cost about 20 euros i spoke to my midwife about it and she's like i don't know this so it's like a special bottle it's just like a normal water bottle but 30 30 euros or 20 euros for simple bottle i don't know so these are not right so another item that i have on my list is uh what is it called it, i think it's called mama mama earth spray or perennial spray i would put it this way it's a, a disinfectant infused with uh, some herbal infusion for soothing and calming that you're supposed just to spray down there after giving birth to him. I asked a couple of my friends and my midwife didn't know about it and in the end I thought I'm not getting this. I thought I would just buy a normal disinfectant from the pharmacy. Anything that is approved to use if you have any cut or something like that as long as it doesn't have a bearing sensation and that should be fine. Then oh some crazy stuff. How do I feed the baby during the night and change diapers? I came across some interesting product and they were also, I think, molded by Google on my, on my phone because I look for a lot of baby items and this was like lighters specific for feeding bottles. So it's like a small case. It looked more like a, a placement where you, where you usually put a cup and you're just supposed to put the bottle, like you put the bottle inside here and the bottle lights up. So they're called feeding bottle lighters. And I was like, maybe. 
And over time, I'm thinking, this is crazy. No, I'm not getting this one. The next item, this is essential, but I'm, I don't think. If you think I'm wrong or I really need it, leave that in the comment section. I just don't know. Is this specific um, diaper containers? They are expensive. I mean, this can go up to almost a hundred euros. Then they, you can only use them with specific bags that comes from the same manufacturer. And you also, most of the time, you have to buy a specific um, lid or a compartment that you insert in there to make sure that it's twisting, it's twisting and preventing the diapers from smelling. Until last week, I thought, okay, maybe I should get it. And then I spoke to a friend who was like, these things are expensive. The twisting mechanisms does not allow you to f fit in a lot of uh, diapers in there. And at the end of the day, you always need to get rid of the diapers, if possible, every second day or so. I just thought, for now, I'm not going to get it. I'll use a normal diaper that I have in the bathroom and empty it every single day or every second day if I need to and see. African girl in me is just like, I don't think I need this. Is the fancy diaper changing table. Very common in Germany, pretty much every mother has like a diaper changing table. They are quite bulky, we live in a small apartment. I was like, okay, now we're not getting this. The standard one that you, is usually in a form of a uh, maybe a small sideboard with something on top we thought okay this we definitely do not need and don't have space for then we thought of something that we can put on the wall but i don't feel safe putting the baby on something that i just attached to the wall might i also feel it might work maybe the first two three months when the baby is really tiny but when she starts moving then i'm not going to use it after three months those three months so i just say I'm not doing it. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be changing diapers yet. Number seven is bottle warmers. Container made specifically just so you can set the temperature where you want it, put in, wa put in water, heat it up to the, to the temperature you want it, or put in the bottle, and then only heat it up to that specific temperature. I, I, I have seen several times people just take normal warm water, put in the bottle, and then you just after a few minutes check how warm the milk is by just sprinkling it on your on your arm and that should be fine so i'm not I, I, baby monitors our apartment is quite small and again i have lived at the village village bedrooms are even you know they're too far from your kitchen and from the living room but still you would just let the baby sleep in the bedroom quiet nice and peep in maybe from time to time to see if the baby's awake or otherwise just be attentive special baby sleeping gowns they're supposed to keep them really comfortable tight and allow them to sleep longer and maybe will not have to wake up as often as they usually do when they are not wrapped around like a burrito and two weeks ago or three weeks ago when I had a meeting with my, my midwife I also asked about it and she was like um, you have to think about it if you really want to buy these items because there are a whole lot of different items you can buy to when you're expecting but not everything is essential and you have to decide where you want to spend your money. Quite expensive and my midwife said okay my suggestion is that if you have 100% cotton pillow cases, the big ones like 80, 80 times 80 centimeters, that is enough to, you know, to wrap the baby around if you have a baby who cannot sleep well when they just loose and moving around in the bassinet. So I'm not buying that and I'll skip it and so far. Yesterday I washed two pillow cases and let's see if this is going to work out and yeah but even if it does not work out i also think when you cannot use a pillowcase or a, a very large head scarf then that specific gown also won't be usable because it's basically just something that keeps the baby compact mm -hmm. items that i'm not buying in preparation for motherhood and for the baby if there's any item on this list that you really think is 
essential you want to recommend that to me leave that in the comment section below i'm not sure if i'm making the right decision i'm also just expecting for the first time so i don't know but it's just i'm following my intuition and just how i feel and at the moment i just feel like i do not need these items give us a like subscribe to our channel and see you in our next video